Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and I am starting this video before the game even loads because there was an update just now, and I want the if there to, if there's an update window, I want it to be in the video because if I start the video after the update window appears for some reason, it takes the update window away. Blah blah blah. Anyway. I looked it up on the War Commander wiki, there isn't an update patch note or anything, but on the actual app it says that they added base themes, so I don't know if we'll be able to choose them, it said something about unlocking them, so I don't know how that's going to work, but maybe cool to have new themes. Also, my goals for the end of the year, at 400 subscribers, we're only 27 away from that now, so I am sure we're going to hit that. My original goal is 500. Hey, if we can if we can get 127 subscribers in a month and 10 days, that would be insane. But wait, what happens if I click next offer? I've never noticed this before. I've never actually clicked like next offer. You can just cycle through. There's like a few different options here. Huh. That's actually pretty cool, but it kind of takes the thrill out of the time limit. Like, what happens when the time limit's done? Okay, whatever. Let's get to the main subject, which is going to be the striker review. After I refill that, don't want to leave that too empty. Okay, so the striker is the high-level version of the Humvee. You know, typically, all the base units in this game, of which the striker is one, come in different tiers. You have your original, like your PK, then you upgrade to the Humvee, which is basically the exact same thing except better, and then you go to the Striker. Now the issue with the Striker versus the Humvee is the Striker takes up twice as much space. I'm not going to compare the Striker to the Humvee IFV right now, I'm just going to compare it to the regular Humvee, but it takes up twice as much space. Now if you look at this in regards to the Humvee's damage and health, it's actually not that big a deal. It adds a lot more durability for your DPS than the Humvee's minor level 9, not quite maxed out, but if you look at the DPS of 440 and health of, let's just say, 65 with the, with the uh, bonus, way more. Way more DPS from a level 2 striker. And, oh, I was going to go ahead and build one of these because I'm going to do a little comparison in a minute too. But uh, even comparing this to the Humvee IFV, this, the Striker has, as a level 2, has better DPS and health than a Humvee IFV. However, it takes up 25 more space. But um, it's, that makes it weird to compare. So you would have to have, let's see, you have two Humvee IFVs would be 150, so you'd have to have four Humvee IFVs versus three strikers. That is right, right? Yep, four Humvee IFVs versus three strikers. So let's whip out this calculator real quick. I, I know numbers, numbers are bad. Numbers are bad, right? But hey, I, I want to give you guys good numbers on exactly how much better the striker is than the Humvee IFV. I don't have the striker IFV. Let's take a look at how much capacity that takes. 125 Honestly, that's not much when you look at proportionally, because a Humvee takes up 50, Humvee IFV takes up 75, so it's twice as much space, whereas a Striker IFV only takes up 25% more space than... 25% more space versus 50% more space. But hey, since all I have right now is the Striker, let's compare it to the Humvee IFV, which most people would have. So we do four Humvee IFVs, so four times 660 is 2,640. 2,640. And let's take 632 times 3, 1,896. So the level 9 Humvee IFVs are going to have a bit more damage than just a level 2 striker, which I can't promote. This is the highest level striker I'm going to have. And the health, the health could be a real game changer though, right? So let's say the health, uh, let's move to 14,000, let's just say 14,000. Yeah, 14,000. Round that up. Times 3 is going to be 42,000. 42,000, and let's do this one as 8. 8,000 times 
equals 32. 32,000. Well, let's, let's check this one again. Did I do this one times 4 times 3? We're going to do 14,000 times 3 equals 42. So yeah, the strikers are going to have more health but slightly less damage. So it's a little bit more durable. And when you get into the higher level fightings or base attacks, it does really pay to have more health versus more damage. Though having both would be awesome. But uh, we're going to compare these to Humvees, though, because can't build three stri three strikers. So let's get my platoon out, and we're going to do two really quick attacks. So we're going to add a striker there, and we're going to add two Humvees here. Because really that's what we're comparing it to, right? Base strikers versus base Humvees. It's apples to apples. IFVs are a whole other ball game. But it is nice to know how the striker compares to the Humvee IFV because everybody's going to have Humvee IFVs. But hopefully this next event I'll be able to get striker IFVs. I'm really looking forward to it. I've used striker strike cards. That's a tongue twister for you. And I really like the increased damage they seem to do. But here's what we're going to do. We're actually doing this damage and health. We know the striker's going to have more health, slightly less damage. What I'm looking at here is repair-wise. So we're going to place that bad boy and drive him in so he dies. Am I playing without volume? My goodness. All right, and as soon as it's dead, oh, let's go ahead and surrender. And we'll see how much damage it we took. Now, guys, if this isn't worthy of some praise, I am tanking my infamy score just for you guys. I'm about to lose, like, 50 infamy, right? <laughs> so let's see how much repair costs one level 2 striker has. 315. So let's attack this one with regular Humvees. Oh, wow, they die so fast. <laughs> the one Humvee, I, the one, the one striker has way more health, especially than the base Humvees. You can really see how that health pays off. It also may be different armor types. I wish there was something in this game about armor types. Because when you talk about armor, especially in looking at like your regular heavy vehicles like your Abrams versus something like a TOS-1, it seems that, that the TOS-1 has a slightly different armor type. It takes damage better than other vehicles in the same category. So it'd be interesting to know if the strikers have better, have more, um, have a different kind of armor than Humvees. Okay, so the Humvees took 406, but they were level 9 but they do take slightly more to repair. I don't know exactly how level dictates how much repairs it costs or if it even changes it. That's something I'm going to have to look into later. But um, my base synopsis on the striker right now is I kind of like it. The speed, that's something I didn't check. The speed is 70, which, wait, 70 speed? That's the same as the Humvee, right? Yeah, same as the Humvee. The Humvee's range is 240, plus a little bonus because of the stuff I have. The Striker's range is 245. But I, once I get it to level 4, I can get the same range bonus, right? Oh no, it's a damage bonus. Actually, I like the damage bonus over the range bonus. Most times, especially for the armored vehicles. So I really think I'm going to be able to implement Strikers. The only difference, really, is when people are using Humvees... I used Humvees the most when I was under level 40 for like blitz attacks, putting Humvees behind tanks and using Humvees as the primary force for wrecking bases. I think with Strikers, I'm going to have to do a little bit more of a mix. Like maybe I'll have to have some M270s in with the Strikers with um, Merkavas up front, kind of diversify my damage. You know, I don't think using Strikers as a sole attacking force is really going to be all that great. But that's just what I see for now. Um... Probably in a future video, I'll mess around with a platoon that has Strikers, TOS-1s, and Merkavas. Because yes, I do have Merkavas now. Gotta upgrade them a little bit to get their health above my Abrams. But I cannot wait to use Merkavas. It's going to be so much better. But anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any cool uses for the striker that you do, or any interesting platoons you use your striker in, let me know in the comments. And until next time, y'all have an awesome day.